What is going on, folk? It's Nimblethaw here, and yes, ladies and gentlemen, it finally happened. I am going to play Warfare Incorporated, which so many of you guys have been asking me to play. So yes, we're finally here. We're gonna play it a bit. I am still figuring out how to beat this mission here, even though that's actually just one of the first missions in this real-time strategy game that was actually developed all the way back in 2003. So yes, this is a really, really old game, uh, but it's still gold, though. It still holds up, and that's why I figured that I would share with you guys here today. And also because so many of you guys, as I said, have been recommending me to check it out. So let me just go through a bit of what we're doing here. Right now we're just setting up a generator to make sure that we have enough energy to build these other buildings. Then we're setting this one up because that processor can go down and mine resources, which is what's going to get us gold. So you guys can see we have some resources probably down here. Let me just go down here and see, I think... There are some down here, yes, so these are the resources that our little mining rig up there is going out to harvest and then we can start building more buildings with the money generated from that. We also want to build a storage warehouse for these uh, these things that they, uh, that they bring back so we have uh, room for more money. And there are the first enemy units already. Look at that, guys. They're probably out scouting. So let's take those out. This is obviously, as I said before, just a single player mission. One of the early single player missions actually with, I think, 42 different missions, 41 different single player missions in the game and then uh, there's also a level editor, a mission editor, so other people, including yourselves, uh, can go out and create uh, more game modes or even more missions for, for other players to enjoy or for yourself to enjoy. You do have to be on PC though to do that, but there's so much content, like so many different missions that you can go in and check out uh, if you want to. But I'm just playing through the first 41 missions so far and I think this is like mission 4 or so, 3 or 4. Uh, I think so. I've tried the multiplayer as well, but there aren't that many people playing multiplayer. But luckily, I mean, it's still a great game mode. If you just want to play with a couple of friends, you can jump online. You don't have to be at the same place. It's actual uh, online multiplayer. So you can just create a lobby. I think you might even be able to set a password. Don't count. Uh, don't quote me on that. But I think you can do that. So let's look at this, guys. This is where we can deploy more of these attack units yes, that we uh, that we used before. We just want to build the last building that we don't have so far, which is the research and development center, because we need that one to be able to upgrade so that we can deploy these units up here. As you guys can see, these down here, that requires advanced HRC upgrade. So we're going to go do that upgrade right now. We're going to research real quick. And we probably want to get a few more of these. Uh, where are they? A few more of these bullpup here, these mining mining uh, guys, because they tend to get shot by enemy units, and also we just want to gather as much gold as we can very, very early on. So I'm also going to deploy or build one more of these storehouses, probably up here where it's kind of safe, difficult to get to, and I think we're now, just now, about ready to start actually building, uh, building enemy units. Or well, not enemy units, sorry, building attack units. So we have two different ones here. We have the broadsword and we have the eagle. The broadsword is really good versus houses. Uh, so I know for a fact that we definitely need some of those because the enemies have started setting up uh, pretty good defenses already here at level 3 or mission 3. So we want to get some of those. But we also need some of these ground units up here. And we can now start building these rocket troopers. They're really great, really, really great. Deal a lot of damage. And you guys can see we have these here as well. They deal a decent amount of damage. But, I mean, they're, they're, they're kind of cheap to build. I think they're cheaper, right? I think they're cheaper. Cost, yes, cost one and cost two. So they're definitely cheaper. So there's a couple of different control mechanisms because many different, uh, many of these real-time strategy games, well, first of all, there aren't that many of them on mobile, but those that, that do exist, uh, I feel like it's difficult to make great controls for, but the way they did that here is that we can tap with two fingers to create a square like this, and you guys can see that I can turn it around to sort of, you know, make a square that defines what I want to, like, which units I want to target, or which ones I want to be able to move, and then I can let go and I can move these targets. Another way is that I can double tap on any target, for example, these guys up here, and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna automatically target every single one of those troops. I can do the same with these guys. We can move these guys down here, for example, if we wanted to, we can take these guys and move over here, and you guys kind of get the point. Now, though, we're starting to see more enemy attacks already, so I think it's about time that we go out and see if we can find some of the enemy units and start taking them out, also before they get too strong, so I have a feeling we want to we want to do that. That's probably the best course of action. So let's move those up there, those up there, and these guys over here. Wait, I do have I do want to have a bit of a defense though. So let's 
Let's see. What about these guys? Is there only one of those so far? Oh, because they're still building, probably. Did we only build one? Okay, I think we only built one. So we want to make sure that we have some defenses, though. So I want to... Wait, wait, wait. Look at that, guys. That is why we need the defenses. That is why we need the defenses. We can take these guys over, over here to, uh, to get these guys taken out real quick. But I do want to build up a pretty good defense base, because last time I played this mission here, I actually lost it, because we, we didn't have a good enough defense, especially, particularly from down here. So we want to make sure that we have that. I think the way we're going to do that is probably just going to we're gonna build some of these eagles here because they're Creating. decently strong. They have a Creating. you know nice amount of armor, so we're gonna build those. We are gonna take these guys though and just start moving ahead with those. So if I can tuck these properly, yes, I'm gonna start moving over here. Wait, okay, okay, let's move up here instead. Let's move up here instead. I know for a fact that the the, the opponents are to the east. So we were told that in the mission briefing. So we want to take those guys over there, and then we're gonna take this guy and just place him down here probably yeah you guys can see that there are already more enemy units down here i'm gonna take this one with him and we're gonna see what's happening with these guys over here we want to keep moving maybe down here don't know exactly what i'm gonna find down here even though i did play this mission before there are some enemy scouts here uh, so we're gonna take those out real quick luckily it's gonna be no issue for our um you know for our guys because they're so strong i want to make sure that we have a good enough defense down here though and also I want to make sure that we have Ready, some sir. sort of defense okay, to this side somewhere, so probably here. I'm hoping that'll be enough. We are going to wait to deploy one more, and then we're going to go for an attack, see some actual, uh, see some actual action, right? So let's get this guy over there, and then we're going to deploy these guys, or take these guys, target them, uh, and we're going to move them down here. I think we might see an attack here. We're seeing an attack from over here. It shouldn't really be an issue, though. We just might go on, we're just going to make sure that we aren't you know, getting completely destroyed. So for now, we want to take out these uh, towers here really, really quick, as fast as we can, because they deal a lot of damage. It looks like we're doing a really great attack, though. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Nice. Okay, make sure we don't die. Make sure we don't die. We, what we want to do here is really just take out some of the, uh, some of the enemy towers, or some of the en enemy you know, buildings. It looks like we are going to die, though, but we did a pretty good attack. I mean, we took out two of the towers. So with a similar attack again, which we should be able to do, we're just going to build some more of these guys here. Uh, we will, uh, let's build how many, I don't know, like seven of these, and then how many of these up here? Maybe like ten of these and a couple of these? We can't build anymore? Okay. So it seems like ten is the max that we can build right now. Do we have enough gold? We are slowly running out of energy, it seems. Let's build one more energy generator and let's place it, just place it over here. It should be fairly safe over there. Are they attacking us? It seems like the opponents are doing a small attack over here. Uh, and they're also doing a small attack from down there, so we probably want to send at least one unit down there. Will this guy be able to take those out? I'm not sure. Uh, okay, they're actually doing a pretty good attack, guys, which is a bit unfortunate. We're trying to save up enough. Wait, they're coming from on top of as well. Woo! Okay, this is quite intense, actually. This is quite difficult, I gotta admit. Maybe it's just me who's, like, bad at these types of games, like, bad at real-time strategy games, which is very likely. By the way, I have not played a lot of real-time strategy games. I did enjoy, like, games like Age of Empires, you know, on PC back in the days. Did you guys play Age of Empires, any of the Age of Empires games? I really... I mean, I played the second one and the third one a little bit, but I never really got, like, really good at them. Uh, so we probably... What do we want to do? Uh, what's the best course of action, guys? Want to place one more guy down here? Most likely, I think, uh, because that one is about to lose all of its HP. So we want to move way, two of sir. these up here got to defend. It, sir, got it, sir, and please then please. with these guys, we're just going to move them over okay. here. So now we got to deploy even more of these. <laughs> and let's take some of these with us as well, because they're really good versus the, uh, the, the houses, like the buildings down there at the enemy's base. So we want to move these guys over here. If we... They keep attacking us. Seriously, stop attacking us, guys. <laughs> I mean, that would be kind of stupid if they did stop attack us, ta attacking us. But I'm gonna try to do a vertical on the game here, and then we're gonna play the rest of it as well. Because I know that some of you guys probably don't have time to watch the full video. So I would definitely recommend you guys go check it out. It's out both on Android and iOS, also PC, lots of other devices actually as well. Uh, so go check out the download links down in the description box down below. And I want to thank you guys who've stuck around. So far uh, into the video, we are not going to end here. I'm, I'm going to play till the very end of this match here. But I just wanted to thank you guys uh, before some of you eventually start leaving. So with these broadsword, uh, broadsword guys, I feel like we want to have those at the back. Oh, how did they get through down there? Did they really take out both of ours? Uh, our, our units down there? It, I think they did. That is so unfortunate. We definitely need way better reinforcements then. Uh, in that case, so one more broadsword. And then this guy, we're probably just going to send him down here. 
Do we want to, what do we want to do? Another broadsword? Yes, another broadsword. So let's send. No, guys. Seriously, stop attacking us for just one second. I need to be able to set up like an attack squad here. Oh, they, no, they, oh man, what did they take out? I didn't even see what that was, honestly. Uh, it wasn't one of the, was it one of the, we really want to make sure that we don't run out of these, uh, where are they, down here? We really want to make sure we don't run out of these guys here, because they are the only ones that can, you know, generate more income for us, so we want to make sure that some of those survives. Uh, what, guys, what do we do? We move these guys over here, we move these guys over here and we take these guys and move them down here i think with this no they're doing another attack down here they're definitely gonna i think they're gonna take out that unit there probably 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 uh, let's take them out with this one then and let's just take all of these guys i feel like this is it like we want to go for an attack right so we sent this guy down here as well probably and then with these units we're gonna go for another attack on the enemies on the enemy enemies uh you know base Probably we want to take out these guys down here first because they seem like to be doing a lot of damage like too much damage on our units so Let's take them out real quick and then with you know with we're gonna build some of these and they're gonna act as the defense uh, Once they finish building with these guys though We do really want to go for the attack now. I feel like we're spending too much time trying to defend ourselves We've got to be a bit more aggressive here. So we're moving forward with these we took out the towers here So it should be pretty easy to, to actually get in here. We're gonna take out the tower uh, this tower over there we're gonna take that one out, and uh, we're just gonna see see how it goes. Looks like we're spread over pff, over pretty far, you know, distance, which is not too good. We want to be a bit closer together. Then we want to take out these guys before they end up, you know, doing a sneaky attack up here. With these guys, though, we can move these down here to defend. I uh, want to move them down here, all the way down there. I'm gonna build one more. I mean, build one of these to send up there, and then with all these guys now. No! Yes, stop sending. Uh, stop. Okay, wait. We're gonna take out this one actually. That's actually not too bad because that one is what's bringing your know, income to the opponent's base, and we really want to make sure that they don't have any sort of income, as little income as possible, at least. Okay, guys, we're taking out that one, and now we're just gonna go for it. We're gonna move down here. This is it, guys. This could, I mean, it could possibly be one of the major attacks we're gonna do, right? So we're gonna just walk directly into the enemy's base. We're gonna hope for the best. We're gonna see what you know. We might get a bit surprised by something down here. We'll see what's gonna happen. Uh, come on, come on, come on. No, are we seriously not surviving? Are we seriously gonna die again? Seriously? Wow. Okay, we, we died again. That sucks so much. I really thought we were gonna be able to take out some of their, you know, some of their towers. Which we weren't. So now, I don't know, the best course of action is probably to just... I guess we want to hire some more of these guys. They seem to do deal more damage to just the, you know, human units, whereas these ones deal more to tanks. So we probably want to have a few of these as well. But it looks like we gotta, like, we gotta have more people when we go for an attack like that. More of these, and more of these as well. Is that gonna be it? Like, is this gonna be enough, guys? Do you think it's gonna be enough? Uh, can I send this unit back? Just gonna send it back. So much, uh, so much micromanagement here. We definitely want to have these guys down here to defend. But Recruit what else? Training. Like, we morning, can we send these guys way, over sir. here. They're probably going to attack from up here. It wouldn't Vehicle surprise me ready. if they did. Yes, uh, like, up ready. here very, very, very soon. Uh, I do want to like, do a good attack down here again. Vehicle I feel like ready. this time we should be able to take out most Recruit of them. Ready. We're going to deal with those guys, luckily, very quickly. And then we're going to take these guys, you know, send them over here. And we're going to take these guys here, send them over, send them over there. Come on. All right, guys. Vehicle this ready. could be it. This could literally Recruit be it. I'm sorry ready. for that the video has, you know you know, become this length. I know that's many of you guys yeah, probably stopped watching, but for those of you who are still here, thank you so much, guys. Hope you're gonna enjoy this video. Hope you're gonna enjoy the game. Do let me know down in the comment section down below if you've played this game before, and if so, what do you think about it? Do you like it? Don't you like it? Why not? Uh, why do you like it? Do let me know all of that stuff down in the comment section down below. Let's send this guy down there, and now with these units, I didn't see if they were gonna attack up here. We're probably just gonna let these two... Oh, they are! They are attacking! Yes, sir! Oh my, okay. My way, sir. We're gonna take them out real quick though, and we're gonna move these units down here, and we're gonna just let, you know, let, let those two take the rest, these guys up there, and then with these guys, we're gonna do one more attack. Come on guys, on we can way, do this. Sir. First of all, we're gonna take out that unit down there. I feel like this should be enough, right? I hope it is. Maybe we don't have enough ground units actually, that might be it. Uh, I don't know what exactly those ground units, I mean they're good for taking out, you know, just the other ground units, but we don't really need that. It, uh, I feel like we just more, need you know, somehow to... Well, we do need to take them out, honestly. But the tanks are pretty good at taking them out as well. So let's attack these guys. Let's attack these now. 
And let's, come on, let's, yes, 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 we got them taken out, uh, taken out. Okay, so we're just gonna go for this base building over here. Woo, we got a good attack coming in here, guys. Look at that. It looks like they're attacking from down there as well, but that's just stupid of them. They should have been back at their base, uh, reinforcing their base. Yes, we took out one of their buildings. This is really, really great. Like, this is where we're starting to really hurt them, guys. We're gonna deal some great damage to these buildings. Nice, nice, really, really great. Okay, let's take out more of these guys. We're gonna take out their tank units here as well, and their ground units two of course and then we're just gonna go for right i mean i just want to make sure that they don't have time to rebuild the base honestly so let's take out this building down here i forgot what is it that building is again is that the i'm not really gonna look right now i'm too afraid <laughs> oh right like so that's where the uh, that's where the the resources are mined where they end up look at how many buildings they have down here like so many energy buildings we definitely had way way less but that's okay though it looks like we're gonna win this one for sure now like there is isn't that much they can do we've basically make sure that they can't build any more buildings and if we take out these down here they won't have enough gold as well so let's just make sure that we survive here at least take out these units how can they keep building units they probably don't have more units than this like this must this must have been it let's uh, take out these buildings so, though before we go for taking out those cannons and then i should i think that should actually be it we have what do we have like we just we don't have any more ground units from the opponents. I think th this is it. Like, I think we actually won this match. Now we're just going to take out the rest of their base. Uh, but because we took out, uh, basically, you know, all the enemy units, I think we can move forward with these guys. But I'm just going to keep them up there just to be absolutely sure, of course. Uh, but it looks like we, we definitely won. So let's take out these last ones here. I'm even actually surprised that we didn't need a bigger army, but they did do like they did do some really really great pushes, making sure that we couldn't really go out there very easily. So let's take out these last buildings and let's win this match. And that's going to be it for this video. How many of these buildings do they have though? Like too many, definitely too many. Now, as you guys can see, these uh, these towers here they don't have enough energy to actually attack. So we should be safe like we, we they shouldn't be able to attack us now and we should be able to just take them out real quick and then i think we're gonna win this match with these last guys taking out uh let's see guys uh we can probably send someone out to take that one out uh send someone over so i'm just gonna do way, that way, i'm gonna send these guys up here i'm gonna send them down here just to take that one out Underway. and these guys over here uh are gonna take out the last two towers and i think that's gonna be it as you guys can see the controls work really really great i don't have any issue like targeting my friendly units and you know making them attack enemy units stuff like that it's all very very easily very very intuitive as well okay, even though this is a real-time strategy game played on mobile which is typically not typically not too ideal let's see if this is the winning kill Let's see. Yes, it was a winning kill. Incredible. Mission yes, accomplished. I agree. Very incredible indeed. <laughs> so we did it. We can abort this mission here. We don't want to. We just want to go back to the menu real quick. I want to show you guys the different sort of let's abort this mission, mission here. Failed. All right. And let's just go back here. So you guys can see the multiplayer missions in here. It's just going to contact the online server. We can play as just a login anonymously. So we're going to do that right now. And you guys can see there's only one player in one game right now, as I said. But if you want to play with friends, it's definitely nice to have that there. And then we have the add-on missions here, the single player missions. There are lots of those. Like, look at this, guys. Like, there's been so many levels created, so many missions over the years. And we can play all of them here. So there's, like, nearly unlimited content in this game. If you want to check it out for yourself, the download links are in the description box down below. So definitely go download it, go have some fun with it. If you like uh, real-time strategy games, I feel like this is a, seriously the best one you're going to find on mobile. It's also ad-free, it's completely free, I forgot to mention that before. 100% free, no ads, no in-app purchases, it can be played offline, it doesn't take up a lot of space. Really just a great game overall. So thank you very much to those of you guys who recommended me go check out this game. I definitely enjoyed it. And I want to thank you for sticking around till the end of this video. Be sure to leave a like if you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. I want to say like it's pretty incredible if you're new to the channel and you watched this video <laughs> till the very, very end. So in that case, thank you guys. And until next time, just keep gaming, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys around.